Greetings, everyone, and welcome to yet another holiday update. Today, we're going to dive into the crime and mystery section. Yeah, finally pulled the trigger on a whole bunch of box sets and a couple of movies that I've had my eye on for quite a while. A bunch of them went on sale over the course of the uh, holidays and Black Friday and stuff, so I thought it was about time I pulled the trigger on them. So let's see what we got today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Okay, now this is one I've been wanting to get on Blu-ray pretty much since the dawn of high definition. For the longest time, only a handful of seasons were even available on Blu-ray. Then they put out a complete series set, but only on DVD. And then finally, they put out the complete series set on Blu-ray, but it was always prohibitively expensive. Well, this past holiday season, Amazon had it on sale for about 65 bucks, which was like... 58% off the regular price, something ridiculous like that. So it was stupidly cheap compared to what it usually goes for. So I thought, okay, this is it. This is my moment. I'm finally getting this show in my collection and seeing the last three seasons because I only saw the first three seasons before, so I don't even know how it ends. Um, other than apparently it goes to black in the middle of someone talking. But uh, we have The Sopranos, the complete series. There we go. So all six seasons... In glorious high definition. I remember uh, watching this. My my dad and stepmother had the uh, DVD sets as they were coming out. And I watched a bit of it. And they had one of the earlier high definition TVs. One of those big rear projection ones. 720p only. That's how early it was. Um, but I remember noting that this was in widescreen. Like in full widescreen. Like high definition 16 by 9 aspect ratios. So I thought, huh. I bet they filmed this all in high definition. I should just wait for high definition to come along and get that. Well, here it is, like, literally almost 20 years later. <laughs> and, well, better late than never, I finally got it. So, so yeah, while I was, uh, you know, staying with them for a while, I watched the first three seasons and really enjoyed it a lot. And I've been wanting to see the rest of it for ages, but uh, I just never got around to it. And, um, well... Now we've got it. So, awesome. Great stuff. Next up, uh, most of you will know I'm a huge fan of this show and used to have some of the original Universal uh, home video DVD releases, uh, some of which are sadly uh, flipper discs. Then they put out a complete series set on DVD. I kept meaning to get that, and I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And then finally... Uh, Mill Creek actually picked up the rights to this, and much to everyone's surprise and delight, released it on Blu-ray. We have probably my all-time favorite Private Eye series ever, The Rockford Files. Yeah, with all six seasons in high definition. Now, the one difference between this and the uh, Universal releases, I should mention also on the bottom it has his business card on the bottom of the case, which is pretty cool. Um, one big difference between this and the Universal sets is these are bare bones. There's no extras on here. But I have to say, the show itself looks amazing in high definition. It looks so good. There's just so much detail, especially in like the car chase scenes and everything, of which there are many in this show. And, um, and it's great. I just, I love this show so much. And then another one, which, uh, most of you will know I have on DVD and, um, I had, uh, I think originally I had the first couple season sets. They were flipper discs, and then I upgraded to the uh, the complete series DVD set when they released it, and it happened to go on sale through Woot.com, and a friend of mine got it for me, and I paid him back. Um, and it was a beautiful set, wonderful, and the nice thing about the complete series set is, of course, it reauthored everything onto single-sided discs. Then, good old Mill Creek stepping in again. Much to everyone's delight, put out a complete Blu-ray series set, so I had to get that because I love this show so much. It looks and sounds amazing in high definition. All the original music is intact. I, I'm, of course, talking about Miami Vice, the complete series, or the 80s, the series. It's basically the 80s encapsulated in, uh, you know, in cop show form. But this is just such a good show. And if you like, uh, you know, gritty cop shows, very cinematic in its presentation. I mean, in terms of, I mean, this, in, in terms of like the, the look and the style and the stories and the acting and everything, this could easily pass for a modern show that just happens to be set in the 80s. You know, it's, it's so well done. It's absolutely amazing. And I think holds up really, really well. And uh, I'm really enjoying uh, seeing it again. 
in glorious high definition. All right, so next up, this is a show that I've had my eye on for so, so long. Uh, I remember my parents used to watch it a lot, and I was a little bit too young to appreciate it at the time. Uh, now I am absolutely loving it. Uh, we have what many consider to be the definitive interpretation of this classic mystery character. We have Jeremy Brett as Sherlock Holmes in the complete Sherlock Holmes Granada television series. Now, this was originally produced in the 80s, and it is a, a period piece. It's basically uh, pretty darn faithful adaptations of the original uh, Arthur Conan Doyle stories, and um, it's absolutely fantastic. I've absolutely been loving this, just powering through it. It's so well done, and it, it holds up so phenomenally well. This is another one that could have been done now, and you'd be none the wiser, because, I mean, it's a period piece, and it was just done so well and had such high production value, especially for British television in the 80s, that um, it, it's really stood the test of time very beautifully. It's If you like Sherlock Holmes and you've never seen this, do yourself a favor and pick this up. This is so, so good. Jeremy Brett is just amazing as Sherlock Holmes. Absolutely amazing. And no Sherlock Holmes collection would be complete without... Sherlock, the recent modern interpretation by uh, Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatiss. It's just wonderful, wonderful series starring Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. Absolutely love this show. I still got to watch the last few episodes, actually, but um, really, really nice. It's just the blue, the individual season sets in a box, basically. There's nothing new or different about them. So if you've got the individual season sets, you basically have this set. Um, and then, of course, there's the special, the Abominable Bride special. So there's the four seasons and the Abominable Bride special. So anyway, great stuff. I love this show so much. Um, it's just wonderful. And then next up, I got a pair of movies. Um, I didn't know what other section to put this in, so I thought, well, we'll just call it Crime and Mystery because, well, this first one kind of deals with a bunch of criminals. So close enough. We have David Lynch's Wild at Heart. Yeah, Twilight Time put this out uh, in a limited edition recently, and I was kicking myself for missing it. And then just recently, um, I think last year, was it? Yeah, just last year, 2018, they put, uh, uh, or sorry, uh, Scream Fa or Shout Factory, as part of their Shout Select line, uh, put out a new edition of it. And much like the Scream Factory releases, it does have a reversible cover. So you have the original movie art, mo uh, movie poster on one side, and then new original art on the slip cover. So this is a very, very nice edition that I'm looking forward to checking out. This is a great movie too, if you've never seen it. Um, a little more, I think it's one of the more accessible movies that David Lynch has done. It's not quite as full of the surrealism that he's kind of known for. It's a little bit more of a straightforward story, but uh, Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern are great in it. Nicolas Cage is kind of doing his Elvis impersonation for his character through a lot of it. It's a lot of fun. And Willem Dafoe is in it as the bad guy. Uh, well, one of the bad guys, <clears throat> who is just like the sleaziest, most squirm-inducing bad guy you've ever seen on screen. Like, as only Willem Dafoe could play it. Like, that man is just such a genius of an actor. I love that man to death. And then finally, um, I have been wanting some kind of special edition of this for so long. Um, I used to own this on VHS. I think I might have mentioned it on one of my retro videos, like, way back when. And, um... But anyway, Arrow Video put out this beautiful deluxe edition of it, and, and I just absolutely had to jump on it. We have Crimes of Passion, starring Kathleen Turner and Anthony Hopkins. Uh, what a great movie. This is a Ken Russell film. If you know anything about Ken Russell's films, he's uh, a British director who's just batshit crazy. Well, at least his movies are batshit crazy. I think he's freaking brilliant, personally, and has uh, a very unique vision. But uh, this is easily my favorite film of his, of all the ones I've seen. Other ones he's done that you may know of, he did Altered States and uh, Gothic, which you may recall I picked up recently for Halloween. And... Um, this is great. It's basically about a woman who's a businesswoman. I think she's like an architect or something by day and a $50 hooker by night. And uh, and it's all about uh, uh, sex and love and relationships and lost people trying to find out more about themselves and to, to fill voids in their empty lives. And it's just an amazing piece. It's, it's, it's full of like social satire and commentary and... Uh, just beautifully acted and very well done. I, I love this movie so much. I watched it so many times when I had the original VHS release. Now, the original VHS release I had was the cut-down, censored theatrical cut that um, 
was originally cut down by the studio. Uh, this contains the original unrated director's cut that Ken Russell was, which was Ken Russell's intended theatrical version that had not been seen prior to that. And it also contains an extended version that was previously exclusive to a Laserdisc release from a few years ago. Apparently the extended material is only available in standard definition, so there is a dip in quality whenever it cuts to one of those uh, shots or scenes. But uh, great stuff, absolutely the definitive edition, and it's region-free, so it doesn't matter if you've got a region-free player or not, you can play this. So, good stuff. And that is it. So, yeah, so as I said, not a lot of things, but definitely some big, significant things. And, um, and quite a few, and pretty much all of these are things that I've been wanting to pull the trigger on for a long time, just been kind of waffling about, or they just, you know, were a little out of my price range at the time. But uh, most of these went on sale. This one I jumped on because it looks like it's gone out of print. I think this one might be following it shortly. I think all the, all the Mill Creek ones are going out of print. It may be a limitation of their deal with Universal. I don't know. But uh, Sherlock was on sale. Sherlock Holmes was on sale. Sopranos was on sale. All for like half price or less. So um, it was definitely the time to get them into the collection. Alrighty, so that is it for me to you for now, folks. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Uh, be sure to join me on Twitch if you happen to catch me live. Just follow me and subscribe over there, and you'll get notified every time I go live. I do streams pretty much every day. In fact, I'm doing a stream right now as I'm filming this. Hello, Twitch people. The, the camera for the Twitch stream is over there. So you can actually watch me filming and editing my videos if you feel so inclined. And I chat with the viewers while we do that, too, and we have a lot of fun. And I do games and stuff over there, too, so... Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara. So let's see what we got today. In the crime and mystery section for the Blu-rays and shit. Fuck! I was also drooling a little bit. Just some residue from the Coca-Cola that I was drinking. <laughs> a drool-tastic update. So let's see what we got today on the... Uh, fuck! Tried to hold it in. <laughs> it just was not... <laughs> it was not gonna happen. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> no, no, bad me. Ow, that hurts. <sighs> Just sitting here with a stupid grin on my face. Greetings, everyone, and the fuck happened with the audio there? Hey, let's not have technical problems on top of the mental problems. Ugh.